Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today we have, thanks to Infinity of Nashua, the 2024 Infinity QX60 Autograph. And this specific one is my QX60 Autograph. So I feel like everybody in the car industry has, for each model that they, the dealership they work at sells, they have what they would describe as the perfect one something that they would configure if they were ordering it brand new. This is my car. Deep Bordeaux over the saddle interior. With the autograph, of course, you have the captain's chairs in the back. This center console can be removed. You just have to, it's a little bit cold, so they're a little finicky. You just take that off and you, there's a little lever right here and that just comes right out. Quilted leather with autograph right there. Panoramic moonroof. Two-tone roof. Let's look at the as-tested price for this one. 69530. This one has cargo pack. Uh, Two-tone deep Bordeaux over saddle brown absolutely gorgeous car three years of free maintenance 3.5 v6 295 270 pound feet mated to the nine speed automatic so no more cvt in the qx60 the autograph also comes it's optional and sensory standard on autograph with the tow pack toes up to six thousand pounds <sighs> autograph also has your graphite headliner so all other trim levels have a sandstone headliner this one has graphite <sighs> massaging seats heated seats cooled seats heated steering wheel quilted semi aniline leather all throughout this interior it's absolutely gorgeous i'm going to turn on everything oh obviously moving object detection around view monitor all that fun stuff So autograph, top trim low, the QX60. Um, sensory, Lux, have an optional vision package. It's standard on this. Uh, Lux has optional performance audio system. It's obviously standard on sensory and this. Um, toe pack, optional on sensory. It's standard on this. So this has absolutely everything from the get-go before you tick a single box this has everything um, this is also the only way to get the graphite headliner and to get semi aniline leather uh, so it's upgraded leather the other thing too is there is nothing underneath between the other trim levels that is different so driving wise it shouldn't feel different but it does. The dark headliner in the corner of your eye, the quilted leather, the seats, I don't know if it's just the different leather, these are way more comfortable. They feel higher class. Obviously you have massaging seats and a sensory, but you have them in this too. That's why when I drive an autograph, I, I feel the difference. And there's nothing on paper that really should lead to a big difference like that I'm feeling, but I still feel it. The 3.5 is a derivative of the VQ engine. Uh, so these things have been tried and true. There's a loyal fan base to them. No turbos, just a big torquey NAV6.
I've, I said this when the QX60 first came out. This is almost like a two-generational leap. It's such a completely different car. And yes, if you close your eyes, you can kind of feel the similarities. But the interior was just kind of lacking. It, it, it just wasn't a... It wasn't modern. This... All right, if this sticks around for... Oh, God, how... It was probably like five, six years old since a uh, refresh for the previous gen QX60. If this sticks around for five years, I think we'll still have a really good option on our hands. And I do know what's coming in the pipeline. I'm not sure if it's publicly announced, uh, but there are gonna be kind of variations to this thing that are gonna be pretty darn cool. Um, Actually, I, I do think it's publicly announced and nobody watches to this point. So there is a QX65 coming, which is a two row version of this. Uh, we don't know 100% what the powertrain is. And the fact that they're not willing to tell me tells me that it's something different. But I know the QX80 is gonna have a twin turbo version of this engine or a VQ engine. So maybe they could put that in the QX65 and uh, then we'll really have something cool on our hands. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.